hey guys welcome again to our youtube channel today guys we're gonna show you how we cook up some lovely tripe and beans and guys i must say this was absolutely amazing because we haven't had it in a long time so you can see here's our tripe of course we will need to make sure that we clean this up properly tripe is something to make sure you clean up properly and obviously washed off properly you can do it in some lemon or lime or vinegar so that's what we're going to do So our tripe is already cleaned up nicely so we cut it up to the size that we want and you can see in our bowl already we have some pimento seeds over here my mom is preparing the ground seasons such as onion, thyme, scallion, garlic cloves and things like that. What we're going to do right here is adding some powder seasons such as our all-purpose garlic powder we're also going to add in some black pepper and we are also going to throw in as well some browning we will of course add a bit of salt as well to taste because that is a must now the thing with tripe especially is that it must be seasoned very well and i strongly believe that it must have enough spice so that i can literally taste it okay uh, you can cook your tripe by using a pressure cooker because it is a very hard meat so it does take a little while to cook or if you want to slow cook your tripe you can also do that we prefer to slow cook it and that's what we are going to do but if you want to like i said to reduce time go ahead with your pressure cooker we're going to throw in all of our ground seasoning now onto our tripe and we're just going to rub it all in and i will show you what it looks like after This is beautifully seasoned and well seasoned. So if you're wondering what that is, my mom is just pouring in a little bit of oil because she's not going to add any oil into the pot when she put the tripe in it, okay? She wants it to basically steam its own water. So I will show you basically that step when we get there. So here on our stove, we have already have our heated pot and we're going in with our tripe and we are adding everything all at the same time because we want all the seasoning to cook into our tripe to add that flavor, that wonderful natural taste, okay? So if you want to basically remove your seasoning from your tripe, um, you know obviously before you can do so if you want to cook everything in so all the flavor and the season is absorbed into your meat then you can also do this as well it's, it's totally up to you most importantly just make sure that you have enough spice if you're not afraid of spice because we are not we are just going to cover our pot and we are going to leave this to steam and spring its own water naturally so after around five to eight minutes, you can see that um, our pot has basically steamed its own water. So here on what we're going to do is leave it to cook. And of course, we're going to use hot water as the water keeps drying down. We will use hot water to continue to cook this meat. OK, because if you use cold water, the meat is going to become harder and we do not want that. So after uh, basically like an hour and a half, of course our tripe is cooked. So what we did guys, like I said before, is throw our tripe in the pot, cover it up from the beginning, it steam its own water, and then thereafter we continue to use hot water to cook our tripe, okay? If you want to reduce the time, then you can use a pressure cooker. You will of course taste and uh, feel your meat because you want to make sure that it is tender to how you like it. If you want it to be a little bit on the softer side, go ahead. If you don't mind it being medium, it's up to you. We're just going to re-season this pot, okay, with a bit of scallion, tomato, garlic powder, black pepper, a pinch of salt to taste, of course. And how can you cook tripe without adding any beans in it like a butter bean and we also added a bit of parsley as well into this parsley flake it was absolutely amazing we basically used some hot water to wash off the beans of course you know it was in the can so we kind of wanted to get rid of all that residue and things like that and then we threw it into our pot guys this was great if you like this video and if you like to see more leave your comments like share and to subscribe and tell your friends and your family about our channel moving on this is how 
how we want our gravy to be like on this level of thickness not too watery and not too too thick either and like i said we're just gonna have this with some rice and peas but usually people have it with white rice including ourselves dinner was absolutely amazing thank you so much for watching and uh, we hope you enjoy our tripping beans video until next time goodbye